Question three, Lynn says when you add or multiply two complex numbers, you always get an answer you can write in A plus BI form. Noah says, I don't think so. Here are some exceptions I found. So when Noah added seven plus two I and three minus two I, he got 10. And when he multiplied these two, he got eight I. So we wanna check his arithmetic and see if he's correct. And then if he is correct, we want to take those answers and write them as complex numbers. We wanna write them in A plus BI form. So let's just check to see if his arithmetic is correct. So if we have seven plus two I and three minus two I, well, we would have seven plus three, which is in fact 10, and then we have a positive two I and a negative two I, which would be zero I. So 10 plus zero I, zero times anything is always zero, so that would really be 10. So one of the ways that we could write that in A plus B I form would just be 10 plus zero I. Same thing, okay? When we multiply this one, so let's check his multiplication just to make sure that he's good. Two times two is four. Two times two I is four I. Two I times two is positive four I. And two I times two I is two I, sorry, four I squared. Positive four I squared. So we know that 4i plus 4i is going to give us 8i. We also know that 4i squared just changes the sign. So this would be 4 minus 4, which is 0 plus 8i. So the way that we could write this in a plus bi form would be 0 plus 8i. And if we check our work, you can see that both of those are correct. So in order to write something any number can be written in A plus BI form. If the one part is missing, you just replace that with a zero. So like here, we don't have an imaginary part. We just replace it with zero I. This part, we didn't have the real component, so we put the real component as zero.